99.1 FM CKXS. So good morning. It's 8.46 a.m. And uh, in our studios today, this is an opportunity that we make available to uh, all the candidates that they uh, can come in and share their story. And I think it's important that we make this available to the candidates that are running for mayor for uh, Chatham-Kent. And so today we have done that. And Allison Story is with us, who is running for mayor for uh, Chatham-Kent, one of uh, six people, six candidates that are running for that uh, spot. Uh, Allison, of course, um, you might recognize as being a 401 barrier advocate who has uh, put uh, countless hours into making that stretch of highway that many call Carney Jolly. I think Allison is, is what a, people have, uh, have, told, has, have referred it to because there's been so many accidents there and we need a better barrier. And uh, you've made that your mission in the past year. Mm-hmm. Year and a half, Thir- thirteen months now. Thirteen yeah. months to uh, to bring that barrier there, and you're making some progress, aren't you? Uh, we are. We've got a commitment from the provincial government to build the concrete barrier. If you've been on that stretch lately, you have probably seen the cables have gone up. Yeah, that's a temporary interim measure, but uh, it's it's not going to protect all the vehicles on the road, but it's going to protect a whole lot it's more. It's a step. It's a step in the right direction, right. and it doesn't happen overnight. As anyone remembers, the Windsor to Tilbury stretch. It takes. It's a major right. infrastructure project. It takes time. It will be worth it in the end when lives are saved. Right. Um, that's basically a provincial issue. You're dealing with provincial government in making that happen. So, But I wanted to touch on that because that's something that you might recognize Allison for. Mm-hmm. Let's talk more about Chatham-Kent now. Let's talk about the municipality of Chatham-Kent. I guess first and foremost, tell me a little bit about Allison's story. Uh, who are you? Where are you from? Right. So I am from, uh, I was born and raised in Chatham. And I was, I'm very fortunate where I spend sort of half my year in South Kent in Rondo and half the year in Chatham. Uh, but I've been spending time around in every community in Chatham Kent during this campaign. I have loved every minute of it so far, but I was born and raised in Chatham, went to high school in Chatham, uh, went away to university, had uh, jobs with the provincial government and the Department of Foreign Affairs with the federal government, worked overseas, and then I came back to Chatham. And uh, that was about 10 years ago, and it's been a fantastic ride ever since. I love being back in my home community. Very good. Why running for mayor? Why why did you want to run to be the mayor of Chatham-Kent? Well, I have been thinking about this for a while, and there were a few factors that led me to put my name forward. One of those being the fact that I think we really need some change in this community. I think we have been struggling for a quite a long time now when I saw the the recent stats can numbers which are it's the federal department that measures demographics in each community across Canada and they were very troubling to me and that was the first real red flag that we were going in the wrong direction as a community and people were suffering and we've gone from 110,000 to 101,000 people in Chatham Kent population wise that's a pretty substantial drop we've also lost 8,500 jobs and that's net in this community during that same time frame. That is a huge hole to crawl out of. And another one that concerns me, I'm, I'm slightly out of, you and I are both sadly out of this age range now, Greg, but the 20 to 39-year-old age group is moving out of Chatham-Kent at twice the rate as our general population decline. And that age range is growing substantially in Ontario. So we are losing the very people who are starting families, raising families, starting their career, building businesses. And those are the people we need to have a future in this community. And we are not doing a great job of attracting them and retaining them. And when I realized that I looked around, I didn't see the right leadership trying to fix that. And I've got some great ideas. I've worked in those fields. I have a very detailed platform. I think I'm the only mayoral candidate that's really got one. And I believe I have the leadership skills and experience that we need now, today, to move this community forward. Once again, if you're just tuning in to us, we're talking to Allison Story, who is a mayoral candidate for Chatham-Kent in the next election, October 22nd. One question I'm sure you're asked is, why run for mayor uh, and not council? That's an excellent question, and I have been getting that question. I think it's a perfectly reasonable one to ask. I actually do have experience I have plenty of experience that relates directly to what we need to do now. I have worked for the provincial government for many years and then the federal government. So I have a a great, vast knowledge of 
how to work in the public sector. I also have an excellent network of mayors and municipal leaders across the country I can tap into to form partnerships, to lobby for an important issue, or to seek funding. I also worked for this municipality of Chatham-Kent for close to a decade. I managed a multi-million dollar business, a large team of staff and volunteers. I know how council works. I lived it and breathed it for almost a decade. Plus, I've got extensive experience in the not-for-profit sector. I worked at the Chatham-Kent Hospice. So I've got a lot of experience that I think can lend itself to the leadership role that we need now. Fair enough. Uh, tell me a little bit about the platform. What, uh, what are some of the key points on your platform from Allison's story? Right. So I have a platform called Transformation CK, and I'd love your feedback on it. If you're listening today, it's at it's time for ck.com. I put a lot of thought and effort into this. I sent surveys out. I got several hundred responses back. I've been knocking on doors in every community, including Mitchells Bay, Dresden, Thamesville, Wallaceburg. This is all based on feedback from citizens. And I heard a lot of concerns, one being infrastructure. And that's just a fancy word for roads and bridges, basically. A lot of us, if we we live in Chatham-Ken, we probably know at least one or two bridges that have gone out or are not structurally sound. We know a lot of roads that could be in a lot better shape. Uh, bridges and culverts, if you're in the rural areas, you know how that works. My father-in-law is a retired farmer and most of my farming family of in-laws, they tell me every day the issues they have in Tilbury East Township, for example, with infrastructure and roads. They can't get their product to market. Right. It's a huge issue. So that's a big one. Also, things like communication and transparency. You shouldn't have to come to Chatham every time you need to get something done. As a mayor, I will have mayoral office hours in every community regularly. So I will come to you. You don't need to come to me to talk to me. I will come to you. Then other very, a lot of this is simple, straightforward uh, direction in terms of accountability. Mm -hmm. I want a lot more on our municipal website in terms of council minutes, council records, financial documents within legal reason. We have to start allowing our citizens access to the important information that they have a right to know about. We have very little online to help our citizens know why our elected officials are deciding what they're deciding. We need to do a much better job of that. And finally, an issue I think that resonates especially in much of your listening area, Greg, right. is the North Kent wind issue. And I think our council has seriously dropped the ball on that. Our current council and leadership, I, my personal belief is that I don't support what they have done. We have we're now an equity investor in a project that could be potentially putting our residents in harm's way. And so I am going to review, if elected mayor, all of our major equity investments, including in the North Kent Wind Farm. When we invested $7.4 million, we automatically put ourselves in conflict. And we, as a government, we should not be putting our citizens at risk. Just we can't be dazzled by those dollar signs and put our citizens in harm's way. That is totally unacceptable to me. I am the only mayoral candidate that has gone to these farms, talked to farming families, seen what they're going through. I've been to Waterwell's meetings, and will we always agree? Probably not, but I am there to hear, to listen, and to support. That's what a mayor does, and right now we are not doing that, and I have serious concerns about that. Her name is Allison Story. She is running for mayor. We do make this time available for all mayoral candidates uh, to have this opportunity to join us and tell us a little bit about their background and what they'd like to see happen with Chatham Kent. Allison Story, thanks a lot for the time today. Thank you very much, Greg. I appreciate it. Well done. All the best on the campaign.